Chapter 4. Cats and Gowns. I skipped in the door of room 9. And my whole face got happy. Because guess who was talking to my teacher? It was Gus Filoni, that's who. And Gus Filoni is my favorite janitor. I zoomed right over to that guy. Gus Filoni, Gus Filoni, it's a joy to see you, I said. And so what brings you here anyway? Gus Filoni patted my head. I had an important delivery to make, sis, he said. Just then, my bestest friend Lucille came running to me. She pointed to a big style of boxes. It's cats and gowns, Judy B, she shouted. Gus Filoni brought his cats and gowns. She twirled me all around. I heard him talking to the teacher. The cats and gowns are right here in those boxes. Everyone's getting one for graduation, she said. I jumped up and down at that wonderful news. Because who doesn't love cats? That's what I would like to know. Cats and gowns, cats and gowns, I hollered. Cat, cats and gowns, hollered room nine. As it sat down in her chair real slow, then Gus Filoni patted her shoulder and she, as he said the word, good luck. Mrs. said for room nine to please stop shouting. I'm sorry, boys and girls, but Lucille did not hear me correctly, she said. No one in room nine is getting a cat and gown for graduation. Room 9 did a loud groan. Ugh. Then what are we getting exactly, I asked. Caps and gowns, said Mrs. You're all getting a cap and a gown for graduation. No, cat and gown. No, 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 said Lucy. I heard you say cat, teacher. I know you did. I know. I know I did. I know I did. Mrs. said for Lucille to hush. Then she passed out the boxes to all the children. I looked inside my box real curious. Then I kept looking and looking because something was not right in here. My cat got run over by a truck, I think I said. It's a big square flat, so Mrs. laughed. <laughs> then she came to my table and she unfolded my cap. And she put it right on my head. Hey, what do you know? It fits, I said. After that, all of us put on our caps and gowns and we all Skipped all around the room, only not Lucille, because she was still upset about that cat issue, of course. Pretty soon the bell was going to ring, and so Mrs. Put, made us put our outfits back in our boxes. I'm going to let you take these home with you today, she said, but please do not play with them on the bus, and don't play with them at home either. The, these caps are gang and gowns are white, okay? A white material gets soiled very easily. I know it, missus, I said. I know white material gets soiled easily. Because one time my grandpa Miller spilled beer on his new white tie. And he could still see beer spots on that spots on that thing. Missus looked and looked at me. And she sat back down at her desk very quiet. And she waited for the bell to ring.